Hi. Yeah. Welcome to Spyler Plays. Let's Welcome play to Spyler Five. Plays, the, the um, uh, Gods of War 3. So you're driving somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, driving a car. Last. I, I, I'm a little mm -hmm. bit disappointed that the, um, uh, that the um, uh, what's it called, streetlight there just didn't go pinwheeling off into the distance. Yeah. I'm disappointed uh, anytime that happens in an open world game. So am I. So in this video, part one of two, I I've, go I've get all of the uh, number cards. I'm kind of sad you didn't get some sick air driving off that hill really fast. We also learn why Smiler doesn't speed up videos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that too. You threatened that. It's yeah, I'll explain it when it shows up. I'm kind of like way excited about this. <laughs> oh man, is support <laughs> unavailable? I, but, but I like support. Too bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm oh wow, that was kind of beautiful. Yeah. Just hop out of car, grab the um, tank. Free tank. So yeah, give me your tank. Supposed to be an anti air tank. Let them uh, it's, some shells. <laughs> it's okay at regular tank, too. Uh, it's pretty nice because it's open top, so you get to see just Matias hop up there and then punch dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it seems like it's a bad idea to have like a piece of military hardware as big as a tank with just your head sort of poking out the top. It's like, hey guys, what's up? Yeah, no, well, this is like a North Korean made tank. This is true. I always sort of thought North Korea just bought like China's surplus or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's probably. Uh, true. <laughs> Even they if can't, they China can't feels afford, like selling things to them. They oh, can't yeah. afford the clothes stop. <laughs> <laughs> I would think that no, it's a convertible tank. This is just it's it's one of those like hardtop convertibles, but they lost the hardtop in like the back of Kim Jong Il's garage. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> I would be surprised if China if China told them sold them like decoy tanks. <laughs> Wow, did you see that flip? That was a sick flip. <laughs> just hopped up on there and was like, whoop! Gonna yeah. run down this barrel. Turns and then out I, I just leave this. it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my best. Like, it's way better to just oh, hijack a tank. Two and then diamonds? Just... Number yeah. two? Man, that guy is just standing there, like, all oh, sad. Oh, um, something weird's gonna happen. So he phases through that uh, rock right there, right? Right. Um, and then I decide to go clear the area, so I, I'm i not looking at it for a little while. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm gonna call the, uh, well first I gotta blow up, um, something. Oh, a signal jammer, okay. Yeah, I don't know what signal jammer is there. You should, like, just take the, um, two of diamonds and just, like, Yeah, I'm gonna it. do that, except now he is phased into the rock. Wait, how do you do that? Oh, there um, he is. No, no. Also, his SMG phased through the rock with him, so it's really tough to get this guy. How did you manage to pull? Wow, that's he amazing. must have like slid down the slight incline next to the rock. Whoa. So. Oh man, did you guys ever read this story about this like this like village of like animal people and like this kid? found this magic pebble that he was all excited to show his mom and dad, but he wished it was a rock and then he just spent the next 15 years in real time in like horrible constant agony as his family like cried because they couldn't find him anymore because he was a rock now. What on earth are you talking about? That sounds this is the real fucking thing, I swear to god. No. <laughs> I'm not doubting that's the real thing, I'm doubting, I'm questioning why you're bringing it up. No, because he turned, he wished he was a rock. The two diamonds is a rock now. <sighs> well, there we no, go. No, you found him, you got him. Yep. It's good. You see, if they had just tried harder, they would have found him glitched inside a wall. No, in the end, his parents, like, as, as like, like, with tears in their eyes, trying to forget the fact that their son was now dead, uh, went to, like, went and had a picnic on their son that was now a rock, just sitting on him, and they picked up the pebble and wished their son was there, and he stopped being a rock. This really sounds psychologically damaging for all involved, and this pebble sounds like a sociopath. It's serious. Yeah. It's fucking the, like the most horrifying thing ever. <laughs> so I could have saved a lot of time by just shooting the guy, but I didn't do that. Well, you're you allowed to just shoot, shoot them, man. then? Yeah, you. Oh. It's just, it's just turn it over. It's all good. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, it's just like uh -oh. throw two diamonds out the. Oh god! Now you, now you parked the car on top of him. <laughs> okay, okay. This guy's Man. not having a very good day. Yeah, for like being that <laughs> bottom rank, this guy's awfully sturdy. 
<laughs> like, yeah, I'll trap you underneath a boulder. Yeah, sure, crash a car on top of you. It's all good. Mm -hmm. No worries. Don't touch me, hussy. Yep. I kind of want you just to, like, drop him a few more times. Just be like, oops, oops sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, Korea man. Who's the other helicopter? Is that one of your guys, or is that just something? Yeah, that's like, just another helicopter. Okay. It is North Korea. They probably got like 10 helicopters a week. It's cool. It's murder. Yeah, but they're all made of like chewing gum and pieces of broken old ones. Yep. Just shove them in there. Where's my leaps? That's a very good leap. I like how it stopped Thanks, right man. at the arc. Absolute yeah. flawless leap. Chance I feel like Triumphal 80s music should be playing. <laughs> I'll try. I'll see if I can do that for the final card. Oh, I, I will love you forever if you do. I already love you forever, Smiler. <laughs> yeah. Well, beat love isn't com isn't demanding. Mine is. Yeah. See, Family Master's got like standards. I don't. <laughs> it's pretty cool, really. <laughs> I don't remember what I do here. This is like all brand new to me because it's been like a few months. You recorded this way too long ago. Who's, yeah. who's Fiona? I remember who Fiona is. He recorded it so long ago so that it would be a surprise to even him. Oh man, it's, it's like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he's like, oh man, it's been so good. Okay, I think Wait. I have to go somewhere over there where I was looking. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger's commentaries. I watch them unironically all night long. <laughs> I almost yeah, he bought. Puts himself sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's time to go down to bed. Arnie, you only you, your dulcet <laughs> tones can help me sleep. Yes, only you, Arnie. Happily nice. explaining how uh, how excited you were to be in this movie. <laughs> how excited you were to pretend to beat the heck out of this man. Oh man, I'm gonna beat up this guy. It's gonna be great. Oh, I beat him. Oh, you don't know it yet, but I'm a I'm that lady. <laughs> 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 Man, up next I'm gonna watch his commentary on pumping iron. Oh god, I don't even want to know. <laughs> okay, disguise his allies, go do some like sick ally tricks. Mm-hmm. Up oh, in the DMZ. Five great wow, tricks that just... the allies don't want you to know. Wow, is, is, is that the um, um did they like did you already bomb this area? Uh no, the North Koreans did when oh. we took it over, I guess. Oh, that's right, you were just I'm taking it. this truck with me. <laughs> Take it. It's yours now. This is the truck I drove in on at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Continue. Dude. Nice. Hey, you know, you don't just throw away a good truck. You hang on to that shit. Yeah. Makes sense to me. If you recycle your truck. Until you this thing, like, like, kills me, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I love what you're doing, like, with the swinging. I can't even I was, control it. I was it. hoping you would just, like, wrecking ball it into those buildings, just sort of smash it back and forth between the two until there was nothing but rubble. This is why we need a next gen. Freaking mercenaries. Oh, I let it go. I was getting sick of it. <laughs> Just got sick of it. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah, truck. I didn't got like sick. you anyway. Hey, guys, not here. <sighs> 20 more minutes. That so magnet, fun. you're gonna be a huge threat when Iron Man comes flying by. <laughs> Iron Man could have taken care of the North Korea situation in like a half hour. Remember that Crazy. one time they made Iron Man games and they were the worst things in the world? I've never played any, uh, so I do not know. Played a demo. It was a uh, baffling experience. Smiler, you need to crash uh, that helicopter into the um, uh, compound there. No thanks. Aw, you're no fun. You could be fun. Smiler is lots of fun, man. You refuse to be fun. I'm saying your fun could be more fun. I think fun. I just give up uh, on trying to find the one guy that may or may not have been there and go and... I'm is going that, to the place like that. The fog dimension? No, I'm always going to be in the fog dimension. This is mercenaries. <laughs> oh, Superman I accidentally found that. By, ran through a hoop. Look, they just gotta like keep their draw distance, you know, relatively low. It's cool. Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys? Oof. I have a rocket for free. Oh god. Free rocket. 
Was that guy trying to run you over? Yeah. <laughs> yes. He was bad at run over. He was not very good at it. He was much more was... like, I'm gonna strand myself on the hill and gun the engine and just sort of like, <laughs> stall out. Cars <laughs> are like the most deadly enemy in this game. It reminds me of that, like, I was playing GTA 5 a few days ago, and like, I got a, the truck I was in, like, stuck, because it could not move fast enough to break the two light poles it was in, but could not maneuver enough to get out of them. Nice. That sounds like a very video games problem. Yeah, a little bit. For video games problems. So, I'm gonna run all the way through this valley, throwing these stupid beacons. Landing zone's not clear. Fuck your landing zone. We just told you, dude. I told you, dog. Well, nope. It's like there's nothing not clear about this place. So dumb. At this point, like the game, like the actual challenge is not necessarily from, oh, it's time to um, uh, it's time to like capture dude. It's it's carrying him the 15 miles you need to carry him to get to a clear landing zone. Probably, yeah. Uh... Meanwhile, your dude's like in a her in a helicopter with like you know, giant ass all terrain. Oh, yeah vehicle treads instead of like uh, those little ski things they land on and he's like yeah no I could totally land I just don't give a fuck <laughs> yeah probably make him make him earn the right to him uh, have me pick them up <laughs> you disguised in North Korea right now yep and <laughs> yeah flipped up another car and there it goes so Wait, the moral of the slide down the hill Moral of the story is don't pick up uh, uh, those trucks with. The... Yeah, you think you think trucks would be harder to flip over, but nope. No, not Thank when they you. have a separate physics object on the back of them. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was very impressed by that. Me too. I'm kind of oh, shocked that Diamond is still alive. I mean, he's been sitting like underneath that car for a while now. No, the car slid back down. Uh, the uh, oh, look at that! Look at that! It was stuck on there. <laughs> nice. But uh, no, he stayed on the hill. Oh, man, that dude just out. buried himself in the mud, like like a little, like a little mud bug. <laughs> wow. It's like your little pill bug friend. But dig him out of the mud, and you're seven, with your little, like, I'm a plastic shovel. And you're all like, hey, man. And he's like, hey, I'm a pill bug. And I'm like, no, you're a war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're in violation of the Geneva Convention. That's why I'm putting you on this helicopter full of people that certainly want to torture you to death. <laughs> Getting sent to the cornfield. <laughs> that, that, that is... A, that is a reference I never expected Smiler to make. It's a good one though, Twilight Zone, I like it. <laughs> I am taking enemy yeah. That'll be worth something to the allies. So coming up is going to be uh, a edit as learning how to edit things. Okay. okay. So uh, I'm pretty sure this edit wasn't terrible. I think it was okay. The next edit though, it'll be terrible. Okay. It still took me a long time to figure out how to uh, what you call it? Uh, learn how to do fade-ins. Man, that guy on top of that thing is like, oh man, he's, he's just running too fast, I can't... Oh, oh no, you he got, got you. Run over, okay. Yeah. He got you. The guy Watching who was driving Smiler, was just like, like, you know what, fuck fight you. Fight this recording over and over was... Fuck you, so, Gunner, yeah, man. So, yeah, see, fade in. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Like, that was like, that looked nice classy and nice. You got that was classy. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, you will eventually see some terrible... Uh, well, I'll explain the terrible things that happen. Okay. You'll look, he'll, he'll explain what suffering truly is. Mm -hmm. I already know what suffering truly is. I'm not sure I believe you, Pete. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, you're right. <laughs> Honk, <laughs> oh, that was brutal. He just, like, he's just not having it. He's just going to stay there, stand his ground. Unfortunately, Jeep beats person. Next time we will use this knowledge when we uh... see that guy moved. You see that guy was smart. That guy knew what's up. Wow, that, that, that I love I love it when you just jump out of the truck and just let the truck go on its merry way. Yeah, well, it's well, going well. home. 
It's five All diamonds. Korea man versus Jeep challenge. <laughs> All Korea everything. Uh, I like the barrels. Go to sleep now. He's just so tired, man. He's had a hard day, you know? Day. Be a mud bug. Got up at six. Kids were already like screaming at him, take me to school. And he's like, I'm sorry, kids. We don't I'm do sorry, school. kids. School hasn't existed for months. I'm not <laughs> sure what they were teaching you. Yep. You know, go to his job, busy committing war crimes all day. While he's there, his wife calls him and is like, Honey, pick up milk on the way home. And he's like, Dear, we don't Where have Where did you get anymore. a phone? <laughs> wow. And then finally, some dude just comes and absolutely wrecks his shit. And then. Spend then... half an hour trying to find the clear loading zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> loading zone is just loading and unloading of prison, unloading of prisoners of war. Uh, yes. Home. It's it's not a landing zone. It's a loading zone because they consider him basically cargo because that's what yeah. he is now. Okay. There you go. You found one. No one's really willing to stand up for the idea that he's anything other than a horrible war criminal. So I mean... uh, yeah. You know. He's on the losing side. So also, precarious. also a criminal. Yeah. Fighting war criminals is really the only way your character can be seen as anything other than, like, a monster. Well, no, 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 okay. it's, it's like... anything you're... other than a war criminal himself. But you, yeah, pretty much. Your dude is very definitely a war criminal, but he commits all of his crimes against other war criminals. That makes him, like, War Batman. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what the next Batman Arkham game is gonna be. Just Batman... Batman, Batman Arkham War Crimes. Batman Arkham Mercenaries. Yep. Yeah. I would play that. That sounds awesome, actually. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just gonna be um uh, it's just gonna be um a Batman like I'm uh, interrogating Joker and she's gonna be like I know you use chemical weapons and Joker's like so do you dog what do you think all those like bat pellets are full of I mean come on man let's be serious here. Yeah. Well, I use them in response to you. You are the one that broke mutual assured destruction. Yeah. No. We had a plan. Rad man making that rad plans. Yep. All right. So Fiona's all happy. You kidnap that dude. Good job. What's next? Uh, I drive this jeep off the hill. Oh, sweet. And then you do a terrible edit, or? No, not yet. Right. Sucker tried to play me, but you never paid me. Never. Oh. Uh, eventually, but I, I would never speed this up. Never. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, no, ask. this is too wonderful. <laughs> this reminds me of when oh, the PS4 man, just, came just, out. I, I love that, like, from uh, front end nose grind. The <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro <laughs> Humpy. I'm a Nolly. <laughs> nice. Nolly. This reminds me of the freaking <laughs> PS2 first came out. And, like, there was nothing to play on it, so we were playing ATV Off Road Fury and just going to the boundary point where the game would just automatically throw you off your ATV and trying to speed off it as fast as possible. Beautiful. <laughs> so that Humvee is lost to time. Yep. So you know, long. You know, Goodbye, Humvee. Humvee. That's some pretty cool um, graffiti on the wall there in English. I'm gonna play Kix Can. Oh, is but... this like. <laughs> this, is, this is a game. Yeah, this the is Russians, a game. The Russians are betting on this. Yeah. How far can you kick the can? <laughs> If I were, like, a Russian mobster that had nothing better to do, this would be, like, my favorite game. Yeah, you know, it's it's like, you know, what else are you going to do today? There's nothing else to do, man. Let's just pay that, like, dude we have as, like, a professional murder to kick a can around. <laughs> See how far you can get it in, like, 30 seconds. I bet he yeah. can get it over 100 meters. Oh, shit, I was right. Pay up, son. <laughs> that was like... I'll give him a bit of the money, too. A thousand dollars. That was worth it. They were betting, like, Emma, in terms of, in, like, millions of dollars, because... Wow, that was just, like, some random civilian, poor guy. Uh, that all the time. Okay, so... Oh, I man. speed this up. Oh, man. Okay. This looks... This, looks this is, like, the best idea ever, because I don't have to cut anything out, but I have no clue how this is going to affect, like, actually putting commentary on, like, video. So, who knows how it's going to turn out after this is all done. But well, also, our... um... So... <laughs> In theory, what happens is all the frames are still there. Yeah. But um, from now on, all of the edits I make, no, they're, they're not the same anymore. Nothing is the same. Uh oh. So, Nothing is the same anymore. So all of the fades, fade outs that I tried to do later on, uh, they would end up happening like about two minutes after they were supposed to. Ooh, 
that's not good. So that's like one of my problems. I kept oh, thinking. Yes, 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 I kept yes! thinking that uh, the fade outs weren't working when actually they're just happening two minutes in the future. That's so oh, so I had to figure out. Diamond them wrong with the no. The thing is, the there aren't. Su I'm not supposed to like have to time anything. They're supposed to be just you know the frames that they're supposed to be. Like I go on the video and it's like, oh, it's frame like. 20,000 whatever the fuck, but no, it's actually off by like 2,000 because I sped up the video for like two minutes. Wow. It's like the worst thing, and I have no clue how to fix it. Nothing I've searched for online could like tell me what the hell. That does sound extremely frustrating. Yeah, so that's why I'm probably never going to edit video ever again. Makes sense. Well, okay, I'll still probably do the fade-ins, but the I'm not going to really classy as fuck, so you know. Keep that shit. Made it, made it feel more like a documentary. Yes, this is a documentary. This made it video feel game like I wasn't was... just suddenly cutting the video. Yeah, this, this 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 video game is actually historical fiction. Yeah. No, it's historical fact, dude. Historical faction. Like you played this um, after researching the mercenary's life very extensively and um, uh, making sure all of your actions lined up with what he did perfectly. It was fantastic and a beautiful tribute. Yes. Roger, this is Expo 2. I am but, sort of like um, uh, my upcoming so, play of Sonic um, the Hedgehog, where I play like, it exactly like a hedgehog right, would play it. Like, right about now, <laughs> the fade in that's supposed to happen in like about a minute or two happens like right here. Well, it doesn't because I fixed it, but. But it, it would have if you had. It kept happening okay. right here. So you did fix it then, that's good. Yeah, but it took so fucking long that it wasn't even worth it at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I get you. It's cool. I understand, man. I'll either end up giving up ABI synth forever, or I'll actually learn how to make it not break everything, but oh my god, that was just painful. Sometimes things break. Were I in uh, your unenviable position, I would probably just cheat and use you know, YouTube's terrible systems instead. Does YouTube even speed up? There is a fast forward function in the YouTube editor that you can use to like uh, fast forward. Oh my god, I can't... No, it wouldn't work because it would just speed up the commentary as well. No, 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 like you do... I would do it before commentary, then I'd just give you all like a YouTube, a private YouTube... Well, then player. he would get, have to download it back from YouTube where it would be in horrible quality. Yeah. Yes, that's true. But then, see, I don't give a shit about quality, so that's just me. Alright, you're driving a Jeep. You're your best Jeep driving driver, Jeep and your Jeep, into, uh, your Jeep gunner dude is like all... Tweaking out, but you know you, you okay, got this under control. Okay, okay, I'm gonna this. Let me just say, this is Hell Death Gorge. This is the worst part in the game so far. It's that's just that's so far is on this. Yeah. Well, I don't know how worse it gets later on with these number cards because it gets really terrible. Next video gets even worse with this area, oh, okay. these areas. So. But first, I'm gonna just have fun because. Why wouldn't you just have fun? Like, uh, whenever Your I question think. question is um, whether or not war itself is fun, and the answer is yes. Yes, yes, yes. War is fun as hell. Oh, that was a dick move. That's the, that's the that part was that a... we... I was about to pick that up. Yeah. That's the part that people usually leave out of the quote. They just say war is hell, but it's actually war is fun as hell. Yes. This is a little bit of creative editing. That's why I'm. Uh, that's why there's always that pause between uh, it, um, uh, war is is in hell. War is hell. War copy. Waldo. Where's, Where's Wardo? Wardo? Oh, okay, so as soon as you go into this valley, you're going to always have at least one helicopter following you. Wow, that's one jittery truck right now. Just, just look at it shaking around. You gotta love jitter truck. It's a jitter truck. It's a jitter, jitter truck. truck. Ooh, jitter, jitter truck. <laughs> oh, it's your open. It's your convertible tank. Oh man, drive with the top down like a cool cat. Unfortunately, um. <laughs> What you call it? With any sort of hijacking, oh man, uh, you die. as soon you as you, while you're doing it, you can't. The tank can. As soon as you start hijacking it, you are in the vehicle technically. Ooh. Oh gosh. 
so Ooh, the tanks me. will start get shooting at you, and yeah, so see fade out. That fade out worked pretty good. Let me tell you, these fade outs were a bitch to get working after I figured out what was wrong with the speed up. Oh, uh, yeah. That's understandable. So I might just do cuts with fade outs. That works. Or also just leave the driving because fuck you guys. I think I can live with that. <laughs> Besides, when else are we going to sing our awesome songs together? Sing about convoys. Okay, so this is big one. this is also uh, this is double Helgadeth Gorge. So uh, all of these trucks here, they are missile trucks. Oh yeah. Kill and immediately them. as soon as yeah, Boom! if, if yeah. I was anywhere near there, I would be dead. Uh, yeah, good thing you weren't, because you're awesome. Also, oh, you're looking a little bit, um, you're looking a little bit um, uh, sad there, man. Sad. Yeah, sad. Just a little sad, you know. Peter Stromer oh, depressed. No, now you're looking very healthy again. So yeah, uh, as soon as you go in this area, uh, dudes will immediately jump into the missile trucks and start driving right towards you, no matter yeah. what. If you're in a vehicle, they still will, because. They know you will die if you shoot them. It seems like it defeats the purpose if they're losing the missile trucks anyway. Yeah. Nah, 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 dog. They weren't even going to use those missiles, honestly. They don't even have, like, a sophisticated launch pad. They don't have launch pad, pad McQuack. Yep. Doesn't matter. Oh, man. So the only weapon I have that I can take down a helicopter is... Oh, a random wow. explosion. I'm dead. He gave you quite the bounce. Like, that wasn't even the helicopter. It's just like... I'm imagining there's probably some crazy European comic book series about Launchpad McQuack's time as, like, a war... Uh, oh, let me war. tell you, uh, if like you remember correctly, last video, South Korea hated me, so it's a bitch to get the, this helicopter every time. Did you, like, just straight up steal it, or did you have to, like, go to South Korea I'd and... steal it. Beg them I was thinking that by now you just give them apology money. Yeah, I can, but... I mean, you got like $28 good. million dollars there. Just just give him like $10 million. That's no. probably like worth no, all their lives. No, it's mine. Also, um, if you don't like reset the game, everything is exactly how you leave it. Look at that guy. He's just driving his truck around. He doesn't know what's going on. He's very confused. He has no idea what's going on. But, um, it's like, so, I came to deliver something. This doesn't seem like the place. In the explosion of Helldeath Gorge, um, the guy's still dead. So, I'm just gonna take a picture of him. Oh, okay, no, so that's wrong. what killed me before. That's what finally. Well, the cannon? Uh, the tank killed you? Yeah, the tank, and also I blew up my uh, helicopter. I so... think it was actually the delivery oh, truck. Screw. I think it was just a very, um, uh, just a very angry UPS driver. Say cheese. Yep. Say cheese, piece of shit. Yep. Fiona's really happy about that ma dead man you just photographed. She's happy this... about anything psychotic. I I'm glad that like we have her on the board. Otherwise, I think this was weird. Mm. Australia's always been crazy, dude.